is police week and as they prepare to remember those lost, a new plan is being proposed to find those who harm law enforcement officials. Steve Shanavy shows us how. It's right here. Wanda Ryan's husband Rick had already retired after 37 years as a police officer and chief in North Carolina. He told me that he wasn't ready to quit. So he took a part-time job with the Moore County Sheriff's Department, which ended along with his life during a trespassing call last December. He went to arrest him and the guy pulled a gun on him, shot my husband and shot himself. In Ryan's case, investigators knew right away who killed him, but more often than not, that's not the case. If we wouldn't have had his brother turn him in, we would have never known. Sherry Conrad's former co-worker, Lieutenant Michael Vogt, was killed on the job in southern Georgia. She hopes Congress approves a proposed nationwide plan of blue alerts, similar to amber alerts, but sharing information about whomever severely injures or kills a police officer. There's absolutely no reason why we can't get something on our cell phone saying looking for this particular person. You get as much information as you possibly can. Maryland Senator Ben Cardin is pushing that plan, which through the Department of Justice would instantly share suspect information with officers, the media, and the public across the country. Every officer off duty is alert and on the watch for it. It's not just, you know, your working officers at the particular time. A system that in no way could bring back a loved one but according to Ryan, could provide closure or at least comfort to a victim's family suffering a sudden loss. You always know it's there. You hope it never happens. And, you know, I never thought it would.